In the world of database management, Entity Relationship Diagrams, or ERDs, show how entities, such as people or things, relate to each other. So relationship is what we're talking about. In our case, we're looking at the relationship between tables and our databases. And tables are going to be our entities. So the relationship between those entities or tables. So here's an example. Let's say we have a table or an entity, professors, and then another table or entity, which is classes. And the ERD is, can show us the relationship between these tables. Now to read this ERD, let's break it down a little bit. So the first, we've got our entity here. That's professors or a professor in this case. And then a key in our table, we could have primary keys and foreign keys across our ERD. We have fields. So for each of these entities, we have fields that describe them. So there's a unique identifier, a name, an email, there could be more. And then also the data type for those fields. And then finally, we have a relationship. We're showing the relationship between these entities, it's an entity relationship diagram, and that notation, which in this case, we're using what's called a crow's foot notation. We'll talk more about what that means. But that is showing us a relationship between these entities or tables. So here's an example. We're going to just build on this, and we're going to read here from left to right. And we'll use the notation on the right, though. So professors can teach zero or many classes. That's the relationship here between these entities or tables. And that notation that's highlighted, it just means, again, zero or many. Now, if we read this in the other direction, what we say is that classes are taught by one and only one professor. That's what the notation on the left means. So it shows us the relationship between these entities or tables. Now let's build on that a little bit further. Let's talk about departments. So professors are part of departments. So let's read this from top to bottom first. So professors are in one and only one department. They can't be in multiple departments. And then the departments, if we're going from bottom to top, these departments have many professors. So we're not using zero or many because what we're saying here is the departments have to have multiple professors in them. We're not going to have a department without any professors in it. Okay, so when we're showing these relationships, we're calling that cardinality. And the most common way to show that relationship or that cardinality is using crow's foot notation. So here's the different possibilities we can have. Zero or many, which is what we talked about. Another option or similar option is one or many, or just many if there has to be more than one, multiple. We could also have zero or one, one and only, and one. Don't worry too much about the distinction between one and only one and one. Most often we're using one and only one, and uh, sometimes people get confused about those distinctions. So um, anyway, we focus on the, the ones at the top here typically. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at CodyBaldwin.com.